Hello. Just a minute, he's coming. Hi. Oh, she's here. Hey, spots. Be good. Come here. Hi. Hi. Gosh, look at all. Next to your elbow, there's old mail and a cookie wrapper. That pretty much sums up our entire lives. Sorry, oh, I, I didn't clean it up. I know, we've been working all week and it's already Thursday. Oh! <laughs> that was a lot of pent up energy! Oh, you scared me! Oh. Alright, so we're walking to e -Mart. Mm -hmm. I just came back from work and we kind of met All right. the closest point. I am wearing a mask because I have a little bit of a, a head cold, like Stephanie knows, because I got coughed on and the pollution is really bad. So I'm going to stay away from you. You know, when you get excited to see these things, that means you're, you're getting old. I was excited until I saw the price. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Never mind. My favorite section. Of course. All noodles. What they have? Buksunga makgeolli. Peach flavored makgeolli. Yeah. I don't like the banana one, but it was okay. Personally. I want to get this. Chu hai shiroi cider. White cider yogurt. That looks very convenient. Only in Korea you could buy alcohol like this. <laughs> like it looks like an elementary school kid's sippy drink. <laughs> all these before the 16th, right? Before 16th? Yeah, definitely. Right. Farmer's green tea bar. Oh my really god. really want this right now. Oh. Are we getting the bus? Yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's take that one. Oh yeah, okay, let's go. I know this is not a proper soju glass, but for spring? Yeah. For health. For spring and health. Yes. Oh. Hey, this is actually really good. Very, very smooth. I tried another version of this, but it tasted like cough syrup, but I didn't like it. Yep, let's, let's finish this beef so I can cook some more. Hi, little seal. Hi. <laughs> you like the heated floor? Oh. <laughs> he looks really, really chubby and bottom heavy from this angle, but we assure you he hasn't gained a lot of weight over the last like week. Uh, in Korea, winter season is when the strawberries are the cheapest. Right, and I bought this uh, Greek blueberry cheese yogurt, which I've never tried before, but it sounds pretty good. Usually I don't eat a lot of dairy because it makes me get pimples, but I've really been wanting it lately. I'm gonna dip our strawberries in this, boo. Oh yes. It's a little bit weird, but... Strawberries belong in yogurt. Good morning, Bimo. Just looking at Kyuho like, feed me. This is what happens when we try to kind of lay in on the weekend. He just stares at us like a creeper until we feed him. Bimo. Hi. Oh, I shot your face. Oh, oh, eh. oh. oh, okay, okay, I'm coming.
we came to Kanam Station, actually we were planning to have a specific meal, but unfortunately it sold out. Yeah, we were looking forward to it all week. We're not going to say what it is because we're going to try again next week. But... Right, so we ended up coming to the place, our favorite place yeah. where we usually eat. The last time we were here was New Year's Eve, yeah. right? So we were feeling pretty down because they were sold out, so we're going to treat ourselves. It's not your feeding time yet. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Hello. Hey guys. I don't know, this week's video was kind of weird because we couldn't decide whether we wanted to do filming our week kind of video mm -hmm. or talking about a topic kind of video. And since we couldn't really choose one, we decided to do both. <laughs> yeah, we just made like this kind of hybrid video. This topic is something that, first of all, somebody asked us about it in the comment section in our last video mm -hmm. on Lunar New Year, but it was something that we had talked about a lot before too. Yeah. I'll actually read the question that uh, was posted mm -hmm. by my left eye. I like that username, by the way. So I'll just briefly summarize it and we'll post the question. Is there still an awkwardness, if there was any, around your in-laws and the family since you are a foreigner? We've talked about this a lot too, and how different it is how you have to act around my parents and how I have to act around your parents. First of all, when you first met my parents, she was so nervous. Yeah, first, so nervous. I, I didn't know. Um, yeah. how to behave obviously because mm -hmm. their culture is different from yeah. mine so I was being super tense but at <laughs> the same time I did like as what my culture would do mm -hmm. which made them really uncomfortable <laughs> it was like a little too much you're like oh yes you know like two right. hands and hello sir my parents were like whoa but um, oh. now obviously they're my other mom and dad you're the adopted son. Yeah. You even tease my mom a lot. Yes, we yeah. joke around and since I know that there's no hierarchy, we can just be friends. There's no difference as like how I'm treating Sarah. I'm curious though, when you first met my parents and you were interacting with them, how long did it take you to kind of understand that? Like there's no hierarchy here, so I don't really have to worry as much as I did at first. That's when I traveled to Canada and stayed there for... The first time? Or no, the second time? No, second time. Because mm. first time I was still getting to mm. know them. I it was like one week. Yeah. And, and then the second time we went was for longer. We went for a month together. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I, I noticed that's when you really started to be cue hole mm -hmm. around them. It's not like before you were acting like a totally different person, but you were just very cautious. In my family, it's just all by first names, and my parents felt really awkward being called ma'am and sir. But to you, that's just like how you were right. raised, right? Yeah. First of all, you don't call your in-laws by their first name. No, no, no. I would get in big trouble. We do for have that. specific yeah. uh, titles, titles yeah. to call them, and also there are certain manners that mm. she's not allowed to do it in front of in-laws. Right. Are you listening to? Yeah, he's listening. If if Sarah's just laying down like this, yeah, in, in yeah. you know in the living room, for example, like you do it at my house in Canada, but it's just the culture is different. I'm not saying you know my family is better and my family is more laid back and it's right. nicer. That's not what we're trying yeah. to say. Th this it's, is not about no. uh, which culture is better. Exactly. Or yeah. The cultural difference is the hierarchy system that Korea has that Canada does not have. Mm -hmm. And unconsciously, with this kind of hierarchy system, there are very, very specific expectations that people have. Whether you're aware of it or not, it's there, and people don't realize it's there until it's broken, mm -hmm. I guess. If I did sprawl out on your couch, they would kind of think like, oh, that's a bit bold of her. 
It might look a little bit rude. Right, it might look a little bit rude. And, and I can understand that too, which is why I don't do it. Mm -hmm. I have taught you know, many adult classes, English classes as well. And this is always something I was curious about, but I would never outwardly ask like, hey, what's your relationship like with your parents-in-law? Like, it's totally inappropriate to ask. But you would be surprised how much they bring it up themselves. Mm -hmm. And I always assumed like maybe my relationship with Kyuho's parents is slightly more awkward than your relationship with, is with my parents is because you know you grew up abroad and you've been studying English way longer than I've been studying Korean. I always thought it's just because maybe the the language barrier like I have still a long way to go mm -hmm. with my Korean. But a lot of my adult students said I have a really really awkward relationship with my parents-in-law when I have to call them once a week, like my heart is like pounding while the phone is ringing because I just don't know what to say because it's, you know, awkward. I know not everyone is like that, but I think they, they just sounded uh, kind of unsure of themselves if they were performing effectively. They're not themselves. You just have to, yeah, like think about how I have to react yeah, or yeah. behave in front of them. That's yeah. that. I think that's what makes them kind of stressed. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie, like that's one of the hardest, hardest things for me about living in Korea is that uh, hierarchy system. I don't know if I'll ever 100% be able to adjust to that kind of hierarchy culture without feeling um, like Once, nervous. Once you tasted the freedom, <laughs> I don't think you can. Mm. I'm sure um, many Koreans are feel the same way. You know, we also want to like you guys to think about it. I think it's totally unrealistic to say, oh, everything's perfect, I have like no problems. Especially as a foreigner coming yeah. from a completely different country in a totally different culture, there's always going to be things that you can't like fully, fully mm -hmm. be adjusted to and yeah. feel comfortable And with I'm that. sure like it also depends on where you're from because there are some other cultures mm -hmm. might be a little stricter, mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. But um, I'm sure they yeah. feel more comfortable in Korea or it's similar culture so they can adapt easily it's all also depends on the person and the culture yeah exactly so long story short i think that our relationship with our parents-in-law are like really good mm -hmm. and i get along really well with kyuho's parents and they treat me so well it's not them that make me feel kind of like nervous like i'll make a mistake it's the hierarchy culture that I haven't a hundred percent adjusted to and might never a hundred percent adjust to because of how I grew up. So it's not your parents, but it's just the whole system and how I know it's supposed to work. Does that make sense? Yeah. Deeply rooted societal culture and Cultural expectations. Life. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's the answer. <laughs> kind of, but I don't know if it made sense. Yeah. But. If you guys in uh, in this similar situations, mm -hmm. we would love to know what you guys think yeah and even just like in general do you have a perfectly comfortable relationship with your parents-in-law in your culture where you are and i'm specifically curious about our korean viewers if you are a korean person married to another korean person with korean parents-in-law do you have a very comfortable and open relationship right, right. with them or do you still feel like the the hierarchy system makes you a little bit nervous mm -hmm. because i'm sure it yeah. depends on people yeah, too that i've never experienced i am just curious to ask koreans so. yeah okay so that's pretty much our discussion the end of the yep. discussion for today and please let us know your guys's you know thoughts and experiences and what you think too because i mean every family is different and every culture is different so we'd love to know your story as well all right that's good yep. yeah yeah See you guys next week. Bye. Bye-bye.